guys, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. So today I'm gonna do something really different and I'm sure you can tell by the title already, um, but I haven't done a tag in probably a year and a half um, and I've been nearly doing this for two years, almost. Um, since I started, I really haven't done any tags. I could be completely wrong. I did do a Blu-ray tag and a horror movie tag that I started out with one of my first videos. Anyway, I was tagged by Mariana from Impression Blend, who I absolutely love and I'm sure you guys are following her. But if you're not, I'll link her down below. She does like movie reviews, not just horror, and she also does a few like book kind of things, like books versus movies and all that kind of stuff. She has really good content and and um, I really like her. She's a great gal. Um, so she tagged me in this because obviously I'm a spooky gal. And this Stranger Things tag was originally a book tag by Sarah Sunbeams. I'll make sure I link her video down below as well. And then it was eventually turned into a film tag by Alyssa White. So thanks guys for putting the groundwork. This tag is awesome and I really like it because this isn't really a tag about Stranger Things. It's kind of, you'll see what I mean, but it manipulates the uh, chapters that make Stranger Things and kind of ask you a question within that, which I thought was really cool and really clever because usually I find tags to be, you know, quite generic, but I thought that this was a really cool idea. So let's get into it. Number one, epic intro. The opening sequence of Stranger Things is amazing and really grabs your attention. Name a film that grabbed your attention from the first scene. I feel like this might be a cheat answer, but a film that I knew I was gonna love as soon as I started watching it, Creep. You guys know how I feel about that film. Um, it is quite hit or miss, I find, with horror fans, but I really loved it, and I, from the first scene, I was in it for the long run, and I love that movie. Next, Dungeon and Dragons. Name a fantasy world you would like to experience yourself. To be honest, guys, I'm not really into fantasy, not really my thing, and the only kind of fantasy worlds that I do delve into are within horror, so not something I really want to be a part of because they're pretty horrific. Uh, but in saying that, if I could be part of the villains, I probably would. And I'm talking about Hellraiser. If I could be a Cenobite, Totes would love that life. I'm a little bit evil. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> I feel really evil saying that, but uh, I would definitely not want to be a human in that fantasy world. I don't really like any other fantasy worlds, to be honest. I do like Lord of the Rings. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. Don't mind it, but uh, fantasy isn't really my thing. I really like that true, gory life shit. You guys know that. That's why I like disturbing documentaries. That's why I like all like real life disturbing things, serial killers, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I think maybe Hellraiser, just because it's so gritty and disgusting. But I think I would make a pretty badass Cenobite, so I'm gonna go with that. And speaking of, number three, squad goals. When Eleven met Mike, Dustin, and Lucas, it was a mostly perfect team. Name your favorite film group of friends. I'm gonna be honest and the first thing that comes to mind when I think about this is probably the craft uh, just because I feel like they're in control. Can you sense some kind of theme with me wanting to be in control and not be the victim? Uh, I really like that movie and I know it's not really horror but I definitely think that that would be like my squad. I really like how they have like the evil elements and like the natural witch and all that kind of stuff. They're witchy and they're bitchy and Seems like a good time. <laughs> Number four, the ABCs and Christmas lights. Joyce Byers goes mad with grief after Will goes missing. Name your favorite mentally unhinged character. This might come as a surprise to you guys, and I don't think I've ever mentioned this before, um, but one of my top favorite films, I guess out of my top five films, would be Fight Club, and I was obsessed with this movie growing up, like completely obsessed, I had posters all in my room, I've watched that movie so many times, I fucking love it. So I would say like the narrator would definitely be my favorite unhinged character, and spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, sorry. Number five, The Upside Down. Name a film that was the opposite of what you expected. I found this really hard to do because I don't really feel like a lot of films are completely opposite of what I expected. I know that this, I'm probably missing one film in particular. I did watch Happy Birthday to me recently, which was kind of weird and I thought was a little bit off path, but I feel like they always gradually get off path. They're never like fully in your face off path, completely different to what you thought. Normally I don't listen or like read anything about a film before I see it or I know completely about it. So uh, it's kind of hard to say I had preconceived notions about a film if I don't know anything about it. And if I do know something about it, I at least kind of know the track it's taking. Maybe it might be a little bit different, but not completely different. 
I would definitely say for this one, and I know it's kind of like a trick answer, but Sleepaway Camp, because not everything is how it seems in that film, and I really enjoyed that part, and it really gave a different element, but I guess that's probably the ending more than the start. Another film I guess I wanna say is Room, which I completely, again, not a horror movie, but I have done a review on this movie because it is very disturbing. Uh, I read the book and I thought that the movie was completely different and in such a good way. I actually enjoyed it more than the book, so I guess that that was completely different to what I thought. Number six, Mad Scientist. Dr. Brenner likes to get freaky with humanity. Name the freakiest dystopian government you can think of. Again, I'm not sure if this counts, but I'm definitely putting this down. Battle Royale, I haven't seen in a long time, but I, that, it's kind of within the social element of it. It's not really like a government. So that's the one that kind of comes to mind first, but I guess to more fit with this question would have to be The Purge. Number seven, Demogorgon. I totally said that wrong. Name a scary film creature that you would not want to have come through your walls. This is kind of my life, you know what I mean? Any alien film, um, even the alien from Alien is quite terrifying. You know how I feel about aliens. I definitely wouldn't want Pennywise to come through my wall. Pretty scared of Freddy Krueger and I also, let's go back to the start, Hellraiser. I would not like to meet face to face with Pinhead. He's quite terrifying. And last question, number eight, cliffhanger ending. Name a film that left you wanting more. You know what, I find it really hard to say that I needed extra time in a film. I always feel the opposite way where I feel like it should have ended here, it should have ended there, it should have ended there. I thought that The Mist had the most perfect ending, but it still kept you wanting to know what happened next. Maybe a sequel would have been great, but also the ending was kind of what made that film. The other film I was thinking about is The Last Shift or Last Shift. That film is amazing and it really would have done better if it didn't end so abruptly, so maybe that would be my answer. I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. Um, it was kind of like out of left field, but I really wanted to do it because I thought it was a really cool tag, so I hope you appreciate it. Please give a thumbs up if you liked this tag. Feel free to take it on yourself and do this tag because I'd love to see what you guys have to say. And please make sure you go to my Facebook and um, share the video so I can see it. I'm gonna tag my friend April um, from K Drama Rama. I don't know if she'll do it. Not really her style, but I know she really liked Stranger Things. I'm gonna tag my good friend Blu-ray Dan uh, just because I don't know if he's watched Stranger Things, but I love listening to his responses and his explanations, so I think he'd do really good at this video. And I'm gonna do something really out of character for me and I'm going to try and tag a YouTuber who I don't think knows I exist. <laughs> um, this is Sarah Hawkinson. Um, she does have a horror channel but you guys might know her from her like main channel. I'm gonna try and make sure she watches this because I'm really curious to what she would say um, her favorite movies are and I think she'd really like this tag. I think that this might be a bit weird, but let's try it. Um, so if you can, retweet this to her. And lastly, I'm gonna tag my friend Matt, who just started a channel, which is called Messy Hair Reviews. I'm gonna leave all the links down below. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, full of horror, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Stay spooky, bye.